Okay, welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Steve. I'm here with my lovely wife, Kim. Hi, everybody. And we're here with a special treat for the multiple times. For the third yeah, time. It's fine. Let's <laughs> just do but tech it issues. it should be good. It should be good, yes. If not, please let them know. <laughs> so we're here to show you a game, Talmore. This game I've been super excited to show you. It is a dungeon crawl that is kind of scanned in place. So it's all about using this app interface and scanning QR codes and interacting in the world in that environment. So welcome, Zach. Thanks for joining us. I'm happy to have you here with us. But yes, we are going to walk you through this. This is a preview of it. So keep in mind that things you see on here, this, are, this is a demo copy that was sent to us. So things are, of course, subject to change. The app you will see to the right of the screen, I've got a copy. You can see what my phone sees right now. And that's where we're going to be using to play the game in addition to what's on the board. So it'll be a fun night tonight. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Zach waving. So we are choosing our heroes. So let's just talk about that real quick and we'll jump into it. This will be, be fun. So I'm going to play as the cleric. So this is your healer guy. So you can notice that there is space here for a items. You can we'll be grab using items in this game. And of course the QR code in case you want to interact with this character in some fashion. On the flip side of it, it gives you some information about him. So there's some basic stats over here, a description of his background, and then level up. Yes, because this is a Dutch girl, you do get to level up in this game, which is awesome. I'll be playing as the cleric. Um, Oops, sorry, my phone just turned the screen off. Let me turn it back on. There we go. So Kim is going to be playing as the wizard. So this is hers. Pretty, pretty much the same thing. On the other side, similar stats, but she's all about high damage. So also leveling up on the other side, too, for that. Okay. Okay, let's get this started. Um, I've got... Now, the thing I love about this game is literally set up. It's super easy. Like, I don't have anything set up because we do that through the app. So, Kim, if you notice on the apps screen, she has already selected her character. I have not done that. So, I'm going to show you how this works. So, because I'm play as the cleric, the button scan class, and now I've got my camera activated. Scan that QR code. Confirm the cleric. And there we are. I've got the cleric loaded up, and we're ready to go. So, now, let's just start playing. Yeah, I'm so excited to get through... <laughs> That battle. You were having so I'm, much fun I'm last time. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I know. I know. Here we go. Begin game. Okay. Now, this is really cool. In this game, everyone's going to have their own private message to them. And so, this is something that I would not necessarily share with everyone else, but I'm going to read this out loud for our audience. Kim has a, something on her screen, her own backstory as well. Okay, and the important thing is the, the words in bold in this will have some game me mechanic with it. Here you go. Life is hard in Vale. And these are hyperlinks on here as well, so we can actually click on them to get more information. But I will leave that up for you to discover. Each year, tens of thousands succumb to hunger, disease, and extreme poverty in a city of almost a million humans and thousands of elves and dwarves. You've done your best to keep your head above the tides of scarcity. You have had moderate success, but no one in Vale is ever more than one step ahead of calamity. This is why you are more than pleased to have been invited to take part in an initi initiation test to join the Shattered Band, one of the most prolific and successful mercenary guilds in Vale. Your job, oh, your handler for the job is a stern man named Alder Mink, a former member of the Stouts Band. He has a military countenance and silent ease that only comes with years of experience. He regards you when you arrive outside the place of trial. Not the trial. I've heard you're good with locks, he says. As such, we have placed some related obstacles in this trial. So now I will get, if you notice they're on there, it's got the K6. So I'm going to get the lockpick item. So that is going to go onto my character card. So, like I said, we've got these spots for, for items. So I'll put the lock the lockpick here. And the other side of them is the QR code. So I can use it that way. I'll gain the locks. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Your references tell me you are a real bruiser. He waves at some obvious muscle mass. Good. Can never have too many like you. We've played some obstacles that will need to be broken in your trial. I expect you to be able to do it. So now, this gives information that I'll not only do I have lockpicks, but I'm also fairly strong. So I can do some things my teammates cannot. 
All the mink leads you to a rotten door that marks the entrance to a rundown building in a dodgy corner of Vale. After you, he says, waving the way through the now open doorway. With a gulp, you step past the threshold of the trial. And so yeah, this trial, this or this demo is all about running through the uh, this trial that he's got put forth for us. Now, quick note before we continue: this is the, the tutorial of the game, so we're there are no spoilers in the campaign, so you can totally watch this without worrying about that. We're just going to go through, basically, teach you the game. Yep. All right. So my backstory, bottom line, I have the divining key, which. I'm good at finding things, so I can mm. I can search and find okay. things okay. in in other things. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we need to continue the game. It says for the initiation initiation test, your first room is A five. So in this game, there's a huge stack of location tiles. And so we're going to be starting with A five here. So let me go ahead and zoom the camera in. Let's zoom in down here so it's a little bit easier for us to see. There we go. So we're going to start in A five here. And now. There is also a party marker. So in this game, we move together as a group. So this pawn is going to be our party marker for this. So it says to place it in there. And um, let's see. Yeah, so basically there's a lot of, there's a lot of scanning this. That's what the rest of this says. But we'll explain it as we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Starting the, starting the scenario. The other nice thing about this is... If you ever forget what happened, you can just scroll up and down within the app itself. So if I want to remember what I had from my special backstory, I can just scroll up and see it. So it's really, really slick. Okay. But now, if you look at the app, on the top you see it's got Kim's uh, wizard icon and my clerk icon. And her wizard icon has got the green highlight around it. It's her turn. And the bottom of the screen also says it's the wizard wizard's turn. So Kim is going to choose what she wants to do now. Now, in the game... I'm inspecting the room. Okay. Well, I'll show you the actions because it'd be easier to explain what you can do in the game when it's my turn. Yeah. So Kim's inspecting the room, taking a look look around. So I just scanned that code. Yep. So inside of the building is just a rundown, is just as rundown as the outside. It looks like it has long since been abandoned. You stand in the entryway with Alder Mink, EC, this guy right here. Mm -hmm. He's waiting a few feet away, uh, a few feet ahead of you. Welcome to the trial. Uh, you should read this. It's okay. only appropriate. Okay, I'll do his voice. <laughs> Welcome to the trial. Somewhere in this building are your membership medallions for the Shattered Band. Your task is simple. Find and claim them. Do so, and you will become a lifelong member of our guild. I will be following along with you to observe, test, and potentially provide help. Feel free to ask me questions at any time, although I may not always provide answers. Good luck. So other than Alder Mink, the room also contains J8, which is a barrel in the southeast corner, and an old door, D1, off to the north. Okay. Unless otherwise instructed, remember to always place the highlighted cards in the current room. A5 in this case. Yep. So we do all that. Yep. We're ready to roll. It's okay. your turn. So now it's my turn. So it's a little bit easier to explain what you can do on your turn when... Um, when I can show you the screen. So if you notice on the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to move my... It's bugging me. What's bugging you? It's not square. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to move this camera over a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Uh, but you see on the bottom of the screen, it's got some icons on there. Pass turn. So I can just say, hey, you know what? Someone else go instead of me. And I can do these actions. Inspect, which means take a closer look at something. Interact. Interact will do a ton of different things, depending on what you're going to use it with. But if you choose to interact with a person, It'll stop dialogue, for example. You can interact with a door or a lever, and it'll pull the lever, for example. Move to is pretty straightforward. That's how you move around the different locations. And use items. You will scan an item and scan what you want to use it on. So that are, that's the, the options you have in the game. They're pretty, pretty straightforward. So move that back to so a little more room. Okay. My turn. So we have... Um, oh, you want me to do something with the barrel, huh? I'm, that's just a suggestion what would you like me to do with the barrel i want you to look in the barrel okay <laughs> let's inspect this barrel that's in this corner of the room i'll have to inspect i'll flip it around and we'll scan it the barrel appears to be as old as the building itself more than dusty and partially rotted still it seems like it was well made once upon a time so its structure remains sound okay and an app the nice thing about this is the app takes care of your turn so now it is kim's turn so 
since I know you're the brute, and, well, I mean, I can show it. Yeah, what are you so, going to do? What do you want to do? I want to bust the barrel open. I'm going to try it. Which, but I know I can't, because you're the brute. Do you Spoilers. Want me? I'll show you. So okay. I'm going to interact with the barrel. Okay. You sure there's something to this barrel? Why would it be there otherwise? You kick it as hard as you can, but are disappointed when it maintains its shape. You notice a jagged bit of wall you could perhaps smash it against. So you try to pick it up, but are disappointed again to discover that it's too heavy for you to pick up. Perhaps someone stronger could do so. Oh, so this is getting back to the backstory, how it matters that we have yes. different characteristics. Yep. So, so still I'm, your turn. Yeah, I'm going to pass to you so you can bust the barrel open. Okay, so you can pass the turn to me. Cool. So now it's my turn. And I'm going to roll my sleeves and interact with the barrel like you would not believe. <laughs> what? I don't know. Just roll with it. <laughs> okay. The barrel doesn't want to open? No problem. You'll force it open. You pick it up and smash it against the wall repeatedly, enjoying the satisfying crunch it makes each time it strikes the stone. Finally, it shatters into a great shower of wooden debris that scatters to the floor below. Interestingly enough, some rope, JX, tumbles out from it and lands on top of the heap. You reach down and pick up the bundle, feeling it in your hands. It's clearly new, no doubt planted here to be part of your trial. The rope is of the utmost quality, around 30 feet of braided silk cord. Aside from elven materials, this is the best that money can buy. Extremely light and, and just as strong as hemp. There's a loop on the end that looks like it's meant to combine with something. Hmm. hmm. Okay, and then we add that. As can you see, Grappling to, hook. Is there a grapple? I don't know. Maybe the fun one. I don't know, Zach. Is there a grapple? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like, I like Zach's like, hmm, yes, what could this be? Hmm. I don't know. So we've... I've played this tutorial a few times. This is your... You've never played the whole I've thing I've never yet. played the whole thing because yes. of the tech issues. We've gotten to the battle, which I just want to get to. I know you do. Because <laughs> these cards are... Spoilers. Cool. There's a battle. I'm coming. sorry. Go ahead. All right. So that was my turn. I broke it op open and we found some rope. Okay. So what would you like to do, wizard? Well, I, I'm just going to go talk to um, Alder Mink. Okay. So I have to give the team props here. Oh, yes. Zach's like, shh, spoilers. <laughs> I know, I'm spoilers. sorry. Spoilers. I just want to get I know. there. So I got to give the scene props because how the um, dialogue with the characters is super awesome in this. So you just initiate a conversation with them, right? Yes. The cool thing is on my phone, on my app, I see it as well. Yeah. And so, like, we can ask at the same time, just have a dialogue we don't have to wait for our turns because we're talking as a group to this one character. Because, like, normally in games... He's like, oh, it's my turn to talk. Let me ask these things, and then I have to wait until it's you know my turn. Then I can also engage and talk with them. But this is all I know, something. We're moving as a party. We're moving so, as a okay. party, exactly. I'm going to so ask great. about you because oh. I don't know. I don't know enough about you. Okay. And I'm stuck in this creepy room with some stranger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You are fortunate to have a cleric in your group, especially one whose god listens. Not everyone who asks for miracles gets answers. In fact, most don't. Would you like to ask him anything? I'm going to ask him about this rope real quick. Okay. So I'll ask about this rope. Well done finding the rope. Now, I suspect you need to figure out what, it, what to use it for. A hint. The rope will not be useful to you in its current form. You need to combine it with something else. Which okay. we kind of suspected, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to end dialogue. Now we're out of dialogue, and it's still your turn. What would you like to do? I'm going to inspect the door. Okay. It's locked. <laughs> the only door in the room is a stout oaken thing with a prominent metal lock on it. You try the handle, and it's locked. Well, that's hardly a surprise, given that this is a test of your skills. Mm. 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 Guess if what? If only someone had a lockpick set. Aha! Uh -huh. I will come to the rescue. So my turn. I'm going to choose the use item. I'm going to scan my uh, lockpicks. And I can choose a target for lockpick. So I'm going to choose, obviously, this door. Old door. Let's see what happens. With all the mink watching, you wiggle your fingers and prepare to show him your skills. Come on. I got this. Hopefully this door isn't some unpickable trick. 
Your worries turn out to be unfounded as it takes you only seconds to trip the latch and open the door. It swings wide, revealing another room, A6, to the north. Nicely done, Alder Mink says. I'll see you in there. He passes through the entryway and disappears beyond. Move Alder Mink to next room, A6, now. So now it gets the other room. Okay. And that's it. Now it's our turns. And I can zoom out if you want. Oh, okay. Or pan. I, I can pan this oh, one. So. Okay. Well, that's fine right there. Okay. Okay. So it's your turn. My what would turn. you like to do? I'm going to move to the next room. Okay. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Darkened parlor. Go ahead. You enter what appears to have once been a parlor or entertaining room and are surprised to see Alder Mink and another member of the Shattered Band waiting in the room ahead of you. You... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you didn't think we would avoid testing your combat ability, did you? Your handler says... Oh, your handler says as he draws his sword. This will be a mock battle, so we will be using blunted weapons against you. Don't worry about harming us. We can handle a few bruises. If you manage to do enough damage, we'll withdraw and you'll pass. If your entire group is knocked unconscious, you will fail. Finally, he levels his sword at you. Begin. Okay, so this actually... I don't have a good way of doing the music for you, but it's got some awesome music in this. So. I just, I just want to... <laughs> yes. I want to kill some guys. Okay, so... Here is the app in combat. So this is really, really cool. You see in the bottom of the screen, we have the wizard and the cleric. And this is very like Final Fantasy-esque. In the top, you can see our foes, Elder Mink and uh, the other person that has joined us in the battle. Okay. So how does combat work in here? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, your emotions are cracking us up over here. <laughs> so... <laughs> So let me show you, you actually have, oh, thank you, Kim, have a deck of cards, uh, 10 cards to start with, and so I'll show you what one card is close up. So here's the mace for the cleric. You'll notice that it's got a bunch of stats on it. So it has a damage up here, uh, potentially armor, you get into, get into your armor, and then speed. This is probably the most important one. This will tell you what order each of these abilities would go into. And the target will tell you what what is this going to do, or what well what target is going to hit. So in this case, it's got a you know dark area in the bottom left corner. So this is going to attack the bottom left enemy if I were to play this. So for example, if you look at the screen right now, the bottom left enemy would be Alder Mink, in this case. So what I would do is just scan this. Kim will scan her cards, and then the combat system will just run its course. But the thing about this is we can see what the enemy is doing as well. So if you look at the enemy, uh, looks like Alder Mink is going to do speed 19. He's going to do, looks like, 3 attack damage to everybody. And then the archer is going to do 7 damage to you as the wizard. Okay. Okay. But first things first, we have to take our deck. We shuffle it up. Oh, right. Shuffle. And we draw 5 cards. And then how it works is we'll pick up those 5 cards. We'll scan and play it or discard it. And then we'll redraw up to 5. And we'll keep doing that until our deck runs out. When deck runs out, we shuffle the discard into and make a new deck and just keep going. I got the card I wanted. You got the card you wanted, okay. Okay, so let's talk about um, what we want to do here for this. Okay, well, I want to play the Sulfuric, sulfuric Cloud first uh, as a wizard, because I'll deal four damage to everybody and then add two damage to attacks targeting them. Oh, so it's a good first cool. hit because it's going to boost up others. And it's an 86 speed, so it should go first. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Now, I know they're attacking us. I do have the ability to lay down give us some armor. I'm tempted to do that to protect us from these attacks. Okay. Um, so I might I might just do that, and we'll we'll see what happens. Okay. Right? So you click on choose. Yep. And so we do this simultaneously, and I'll choose my card. Acid Cloud, go! Okay. <laughs> Five. Here we go. Round one. So my armor went off. Oh, nice attack. You drop the defense. That's great. He attacked you. And he's going to attack you again. So you took some licks. Yeah, but you protected me a little bit. A little bit. You do have four health, so I got to really watch your health. Okay, so now we're on to the next part of combat. Um, looks like... And I draw to always have five in my hand, right? Yes, you always draw up okay. to five. Yep. Yep. Okay, uh -oh. so I have some mace attacks. I can, you know what? I'm going to protect you. I think you should, because I'm. I have no defense. 
Yeah, I, I'll do. I'll give you some protection. So I've got this card here that lets me give nine armor to the lowest health ally, which is definitely you. So that'll give you some more life. So if you focus on your attacks, I will try to give you some defense. Okay. And maybe you can try to take out one of them. The highest amount of damage I can do is seven. Mm, can you, yeah, I can't take out either of them unless you. Can and I can boost. target the guy on the right, or I can do seven to everybody. Let's just do seven to everybody. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to choose my protection for you. It's a slow attack, so hopefully I don't die. <laughs> yeah, Eli. Thank God. Thank God for that cleric. Yeah. <laughs> Try to keep her alive here. That's right. All right, so I have a slow fireball attack going on. Oh, Eli yeah, just updated all these combat animations? Cool. I did see the sulfuric acid thing pop up. That was yeah, cool. that's cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, I'm down to four. Four life. Um, yeah, but you have four armor, so. Okay. You, you, yeah, you're doing okay. not great, but you're still alive. So still alive. Come on, Steve. Okay. So it looks like we've got ooh, someone's at one life, and the other person's at well, one life and two armor. Okay. Uh, my attacks are too slow. I can do seven <laughs> damage again. Yeah, Zach, those are really good. How much you can do? Seven. Seven to what? To uh, I can kill the archer guy. Ooh, that's really good. How fast is it? Or I could do um. How fast is it's you? only 28, so I'm going to go third. Oh, no, that's not fast enough to hit, I know. hit her first. Um, I don't have a way of targeting her. I have some meditates, which don't really help. Let me just go through my deck. Um, I do have my mace, so I can do four yep. damage. What's that po that green icon mean again underneath the archer? Um, I think that means they're boosted. Yeah, so... Oof, better kill that archer before she hits the wizard. Yeah. That, I don't have a means to do that. That's that's the problem because we're looking at our cards, and my card, my target is, unfortunately, the Alder Mink. Yeah. Not the archer. I don't have a way of targeting the archer. I have a Mystic Missile that will hit him, but if I die first, whoop, that's not on camera, then I won't I won't make it, but I, that's my only option. I gotta hope that I don't die. Yeah, maybe I just gotta swing with my, my mace, I guess. Because I think we just gotta try to hit them all. Yeah, sack. Sack versus yourself for the greater good. That's right. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to swing my mace. Mystic missile. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm no. so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> no. Okay, here we go. Did some damage to him. Oh, whoa. Oh, you got I him. I got him. <gasps> wait, I'm still wait, alive. Wait, wait, wait. Did you survive? Oh, we did it. We survived. We did it. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool, we made it and we leveled up. So, Ooh. yes. Ooh. So the nice thing about this game is um, when you level up, you'll get advanced. Com I'll tell you what you get, but you get advanced combat card. I'll show you that it's in just a second, and your health I make it's max, and you get more health. You don't have to keep track of your health because the app does it for you, Good. which is great. Um, but the nice thing about this is we have advanced cards. So what does that mean exactly? So the basic cards are, yeah, thank you, Kim, are these, this thing, right, with a basic outline around it. But we also have these upgraded cards as well. So you can see the little hash marks behind it, and it also says advanced up here. So every time we level up, I can take one of my basic cards and replace it with an advanced card. So our deck will always be 10 cards, uh, but we can, we can totally uh, increase that. <laughs> yeah, Zach, that battle was so tense. It really was. <laughs> I, didn't, I was surprised we made it through it. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick peek at what I have here. I, ooh, so many good stuff. Ooh, ooh, lightning! I can deal eleven damage to a random enemy, or okay. I can apply four poison to all enemies. I feel like this one's gonna be really fun. It's just a two-player. Double the effects of a random ally's next action, which would be you. Yeah, I, that seems fun. And I'm gonna get <laughs> so... my lightning sword attack. Uh, not sword attack, but lightning attack. Cool. Um, it's slow. That's okay. I could just do poison. Should I poison? Does poison persist or is it just like one turn? I think it persists a little bit. It Should does, I poison? Um, whatever you feel like. It's fine. Oh, I'll keep that light up. I okay. do like Firestorm, which does 12 damage to everybody, including us. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I oh, wow. so I get to pick which... Um... Yeah, replace it with another card you have. So. Okay. And while you do that, I will continue on the story for us. Finally, all of your opponents have dropped their weapons and stepped out of the fight. You've won! Well done, Aldemich says after seizing his sword. You showed true skill in that battle. 
I'm confident that you'll be able to handle yourself in a real life or death situation. I will meet you in the room ahead when you're ready to continue. He nods to his teammate, and she leaves out the front door before Alder Meek himself heads west through an open passage to AC. Uh, place the new room in the passage between A6. Okay, so we get a new room for us. So let me find AC real quick. And a passageway to it. AE, where's AC? That's not it. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm glad you guys saw the whole combat. The combat is awesome in this game. They did a really good job with, with how, how clean it runs. Um, and it's fun. Oh, it's fun leveling up too, your characters, of course. So, where is AC? Is it, that's probably the last thing I'm going to look at. Here, you want to look for it real quick while I, set, while I grab the, the other thing? So, this goes to the west. Yeah, so the west. So, here we go. Put that there. Now, it's going to slide this over. Like yonder. Thank you. Man vision. Yeah. That's what that was. That was man vision. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see this thing in the refrigerator. On the was it was it, right, was it the first one or something? It's like the third one down. Okay. <laughs> Just missed it. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, and he moves to that room, of course. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay, so it's my turn. So we took out the guys. We have this room here. Um, before we leave the room, I kind of feel like I want to take a closer look. So... And yeah, Eli, searching through a carpet mountain. There's a lot of <laughs> lot of locations in there. Okay. It wasn't that hard. I know it wasn't. But I feel like I want to look at this room before we leave. So let's scan that one real quick. Darkened Parlor. The Darkened Parlor is rather lackluster and empty. Similar to the entrance, it looks like it was perhaps a room for receiving guests once upon a time. Remnants of broken chairs and rotted lounge, rotted lounge collect the dust in the corners of the room. None of that junk looks particularly useful, but something does stick out. There's a heavy bone hook, J2, hanging on the wall. Grab it! It looks like you could retrieve it if you so desired. In the west, there's open passage to AC, and of course, A5 south of us. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, it says, um, yeah. And the room is nothing but a fully collapsed doorway that you can possibly get beyond. Okay. So, J2 is in that area. We need it. That's our grappling hook. Yep, so we're going to find the bone hook right down here. Okay. Okay. So that was my turn. It is now your turn. Okay. Okay, so Zach mentioned me this comment. I can't believe Tamil comes with so many quality component, components. <laughs> Gotta be real here, guys. Like, I've, you know, I'm fortunate enough to see a lot of different type of prototypes, and the quality of this prototype is excellent. So if this is anything reflective of the actual game, You'll be happy. This is this is great. Yeah. So can I interact with J2? Is it within reach in the room? Yeah, it says you can interact with it if you want to. Okay. Go ahead. See if I can do anything with it. Scan bone hook. You reach up and pull the bone hook off the nail it was hanging on. It seems like an odd thing to be hanging in the middle of a former parlor. You're guessing the shattered band put it here for your trial. The bone hook is thick and jagged, and the top of it has some pitting on it that looks like it was once tied to something. It almost reminds you of a large fish hook. Add the bone to your inventory. So from now on you can scan it as an action by selecting the use item and scanning the hook before scanning your target. Yep. Okay. Cool. Glad we searched the room before we left. Yeah. It is my turn. So let's go ahead and well we would scan the room so let's move on. So I'll do the move command, and we'll move to the next room. Room of cages. Here we go. Did you want me to see if there was anything else in that room with my divining key? We could go back if you want. Okay. The next room is strange indeed. The bones of the, sp of the space are the same old and rotting former home as the rest of the house, but everything inside it is new and unusual. Three cages sit in opposite corners, each one slightly different. The northeast cage, J9, looks like, looks almost, oh, oh that was kind of weird. Let's go have a look. Um, looks almost like a locked chest. The southwest cage, JE, is wooden with a door that appears to be nailed shut. And the cage in the southeast corner, J4, is steel with no obvious opening. 
Oddly, all three cages seem to be empty. To north is a strange door D3 with writing on it. Members of the Shattered Band off. Oh wait, members of the Shattered Band often find themselves in unusual places. Aldo Mink says from the northwest corner of the room. Mela Melakai runes. Oh, Melakai runes ancient temples and forgotten lairs. This room is a test of your ability to handle such situations. Okay, so let's add D3 to the north. And I don't remember which orientation those pieces were at. Oh, well, it's right here. So J9 is in the northeast. Uh, JE is in the southwest. And J4 is, yeah, southeast. Yeah. Might not want to cover the actual QR code, though. Um, let me, I can pan this over. Whoops, let's pan like that. Down more. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, here, we can move the whole thing. Old school. Old school moving. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, um, he guessed he brought, brought the other cages. There is more here that meets the eye, and it will take considerable skill and intelligence to figure out how to progress beyond. You? That's me. That's, That's my you? key. Oh, okay. Don't act so surprised. That's you? <laughs> intelligence? What? Why would you sleep on the couch tonight? <laughs> Maybe Caleb's in our bed. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay. So it's your turn. What would you like to do with a room full of cages? I want to interact with my key onto one of those. Or should I just do the whole room? No, I think, okay. I think I'll think i do... Okay, I'm going to interact with my key. And... I feel like an empty cage is... Well, you interact with a key. Is it, it doesn't... Well... Oh, wait. So wait, should I have... There's no way to interact with the key. You want to use the key. Oh, use yeah, the item. use the item. Yeah, I hit yeah. the wrong button. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Use my key. Excuse me. And I feel like the obvious choice would be to do J9. But the empty cage is suspicious. Yeah, what do you So I'm going to do? do that. Okay. You suspect there must be something hidden within this cage's construction, so you pull out the divining key and let it hang towards the steel cage. Sure enough, it pulls vigorously, guiding you towards something. You follow and eventually discover a hidden latch. You pull it and the cage door pops open. Now that it's unlocked, anyone can open this steel cage at any time using the interact button. Good Action. idea, because it ah. wasn't obviously open. That's great. That's right. I'll just keep doing that. So now that you can open it, I'm just going to open it for us. Okay. So I'm going to interact with that cage. Steel cage. You open the steel cage and seeing nothing inside, you close it again, which clicks satisfyingly. You hear the sound of stone grinding on the stone cornering coming from the north and are able to see that it's coming from the riddle door, D3. It slowly rises until it's slightly open. Maybe just enough to stick your hand underneath, then it stops. Looks like you did the right thing, but have to do more. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So apparently, somehow we've got the door opening. Yes, I might. I'm gonna do it on JE. Use your divining key. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep working my array around the room. You use your divining divining key on the wooden cage. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay. Um, my phone just froze on me. Okay. I went and had the battery replaced today <laughs> because it's been causing me problems. I'll unplug it too. May help. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Take your turn. Well, well it's your it's turn. Still my turn. Right, So. It is completely locked. There we go. Okay. So maybe I just interact with it then, because my key didn't do anything. Um, you can, but honestly, the, we don't know anything about the door. The door moved, but we literally know nothing of it. So it might make sense to to inspect the door. Okay, I can inspect the door. Whoops, it's very sensitive. Oh, you scanned the. It. You scanned something. It hit something. something. You you. I scanned, scanned something I wasn't supposed to scan. Well, good news is the game is designed to catch that type of yes. stuff. So there so you like, go. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so I'm inspecting the door because it it moved. You, I don't want you to yeah, scan something. Who knows? Okay, go ahead. The strange door makes you think of some sort of magical 
Malachi contraption. It's a great stone thing with no latch or hinges, and it's stirred. Open them as thus, and I will be stirred, but done contrastly, and I'll be deterred. Oh, we got to do it in order. Mm -hmm. So maybe I need to do J9 first, or next. Maybe. Well, it's my turn, so let me go ahead and inspect. Uh, let's take a look at this one. I just did that. You inspected it? No, I interacted. <laughs> yes, you tried to interact with it. Let me scan that wooden cage. Southwest cage, J.E., is the only of the three made out of wood. There doesn't appear to be any locking mechanism. The door is secured with a thin piece of wood and a few nails. You could break that open. Possibly, yes. It's your turn. I want to inspect this guy over here. Okay. My phone is not working. You can just type it in. Hit that. No, it keeps freezing on me. Oh, okay. That's my own phone's fault, not the app. <laughs> Got an error. Aw, oh, snap! Something broke. <laughs> Reload. Okay. Is it still my turn? Yeah. Oh, nice. It came right back. Yeah. So, great news is Kim's phone kind of died, but she's able to come right back into the game. All right. So, so I'm inspecting the chest like cage. Mm -hmm. Reminds you of very strongly of an oversized chest, complete with a lock. It's locked, but the me mechanism within doesn't particularly look complicated. Okay. Well, pick you're hitting me. I think you yeah. want to pick that one, huh? Okay. So it's going to use the lock pick. Lock pick. On J9. Let's see if we can crack this guy open. You pull out your trusty lock picks and get to work, all too aware of Elder Mink looking over your shoulder. Although you're more than confident in your abilities, this lock proves challenging. It takes you two full minutes to finally trip the mechanism and bypass the lock. Now that it's unlocked, anyone can open this chest-like cage at any time using Interact. I'll do that. Okay. Hopefully it's the right order of operations Okay. for the door. You open the chest-like cage and seeing nothing inside, you close it again, which clicks satisfyingly. You're dismayed to hear the sound of crashing stone and turn to see the riddled door has completely shut. Apparently he did something wrong. Nuts. Okay, so that was not the right order. <laughs> that was not the right order. All right. All so right. you have to go back and do J4 again. Well, I'm going to try to smash this while it's my turn. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So let me try that. So let me interact with uh, this, this wooden cage, see if we can crack it open. Okay. You step back and give the door a swift kick where it was nailed shut. It yields instantly. Bits of wood exploding away in all directions as the door flies open. Despite the damage, what is left swings shut again with an audible click. There must be more to the device than meets the eye. Now that the reinforcement has been broken, anyone can open this wooden cage at any time. Okay, so right. now the good news is we have all of the um, mechanisms. mechanisms open. Now we just have to figure out the right order. Okay, I'm going to do J4 first. Yeah. Which I think we know. Yeah, we got lucky I think in the it's first J4, one. J4, J9. Yep, go ahead. All right, so we got the, the click slowly rise, come back again. Yep, okay. So I'll do interact with JE. Let's open this one. You open the door to the wooden cage and see nothing inside close again. You hear the sound of the stone grinding on the stone coming from the north. I'm able to see that's coming from the real door. It slowly rises until it's open a decent amount. Almost enough for you to slide underneath and it stopped. So it's getting bigger. Mm -hmm. getting bigger. Okay. All right. Do we want to talk to anyone else or inspect the room in any other way? No, open them. All okay. right. I just want to... We can just inspect the room when we're done here. Just making sure. You open the chest like cage and see nothing inside. You close it again, which clicks satisfying it. You're rewarded with the loudest stone sliding sound you've ever heard so far and are pleased <laughs> to see that the riddled door has fully opened. You've done it! Well done, Alder Meek says. You've showed an excellent use of your various skills and good deductive reasoning. That will get you through many jobs in the future. The final part of your trial is just ahead. I'll see you in there. He walks north through the now open doorway into a new room, A2. You can follow him whenever you wish. Okay. So far, so good. We're making good progress in the trial. There's A2. Okay, and it looks like it's my turn. So, just like before, I, I haven't really inspected the room, so let me take a closer look at that. Okay. Uh, inspect. Okay. 
my phone's kind of weird now too. So I checked the score of the basketball game. Oops. Oops, my, oops. my team's winning. <laughs> what are you doing? My phone is not working right now. There we go. Okay. Expect what? Okay, try this again. Chrome, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, 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 don't close me. Okay, try again. <clears throat> Inspect. There we go. Now we're good. Moon cages. Uh, the room is undoubtedly strange. Three cages sit in the... Oh, wait, we already did this. Yeah, you did that. Oh, okay. We already did Close. this. Okay. Well, it's your turn. I'm going to move. Okay. Moving over there to the dark pit. Mm-hmm. The pit of despair. <laughs> the pit of despair. Best movie <laughs> yes. ever. Sorry. All right. The wizard moves to the dark pit. The moment you pass the threshold of the stone door, you are filled with a sense of vertigo. You are standing on a narrow stone walkway that drops to a dark pit on either side. From where you are, it's impossible to tell how far down it goes. Impressive, isn't it? Holdermeek asks. It was like this when we bought the place. One of the reasons we wanted it. We suspect that this is used to be the home of smugglers. And the dark below is the entrance to an extensive system of caves. We still aren't sure where they all lead. You quiet your clenching stomach long enough to take the room in. It looks like there used to be floor beams across the length of the room, but all that remains are splinters and a drop. Regardless, this is the final part of your test. Somewhere around 30 feet below us is a basket containing your membership medallions. Retrieve them, and you've passed. Note that you'll find it impossible to climb down. Need to fish for your medallions. So it's not a grappling hook, it's a fishing pole. Hmm. Okay. Unless I want to grapple to the like walkway that we're on and just shimmy down this rope. <laughs> crap, I got him. Got him. And then you'll just leave me in the pit. <laughs> so what? How do you want to do this? What are you thinking? Do you um? Well, I mean, we could just put those two things together. Okay, I'll try that. You want to try and combine the rope and the uh, the fish the uh, bone? Yes. Let's do that. Use item. All right. So bone hook, we'll use it with the rope. You experimentally, spare, oh my goodness. you experimentally slide the hook through the loop on the end of the rope and are delighted to find it fits perfectly. Your rope, JX, now looks now has a hook attached to the end. Go ahead and discard the bone hook, J2, card now. If you want to use the rope and hook combination, use the rope, JX, as an action. So JX is the combination of those. So that's great. All right. Your turn. I'm using it. Okay. Let's see if my fishing skills are any good. They better be better than the Boundary Waters trip that we took. <laughs> yes. So. Your patience with fishing is not, not ideal. I'm not a good fisherwoman. <laughs> but yeah, if we hadn't packed food for that Boundary Waters camping trip, we would have starved. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. You eagerly lower the rope and hook over the side of the abyss and fish around, hoping to catch it on something. After several minutes, you give up. Even if, even if you did hit something, it'd be almost impossible to tell. You need to figure out a way to find the medallions before you try to retrieve them. I should use my divining key to see if it can point us in the right direction. Well, it's your turn, so why don't you ah, try that? it's still my turn. I'm going to use this key. Mm -hmm. Um, the dark pit room. See if that does anything. You pull out the divining key and it begins to teeter in the air quietly, almost aimlessly. You frown. This won't be much use. Well, since you're searching below, you crouch and hold the key over the edge. Success! It tugs. Its tugs become more urgent and direct you, direct as you crawl around until finally it pulls distinctively to a spot straight down from the east side of the bridge. Now that you know exactly where the medallions are, you're certain you could retrieve them if you had something you could lower down to pick the basket up. All right. Well, I gave you the answer, so now you go fishing. Yep. So we know where they are finally, so good job. I will use the rope on that location. Dark pit. Here we go. Using the divining key to point out the exact location of the medallions, you lower the rope uh, and hook over the edge and slowly fish around until you feel it hooked onto something. Excitedly, you pull it up and find a basket in your arms. 
Congratulations! Alton Meeks says happily, showing showing the first outward emotion you've seen from him. Welcome to the Shattered Band. I'm looking forward to working with you. Well done. We finished the tutorial. Normally you would get a grade based on how well you perform, but since this is only the tutorial, you get an A+. Plus. <laughs> now we can do full-length scenarios. And we've won. That's okay. Cool. That That's was cool. the tutorial for Talmor. You got to see how you move around, start dialogue, using items, the puzzles in the game, and combat. And how the whole thing works. But, yeah, uh, real quick. His first ex experience, what are you thinking? I liked it. I, because, all right, my favorite part was yeah, the battle. Yeah, yeah, so we did win. Now, in hindsight, I should have been using my Divining Key, like, right away in the pit. Should have done that. So I think that would have been, like, a point thing if it was actually scored. Possibly. But, um, no, I really like it. I'm curious to see where else this goes and how much, or how more, you know, the complication level of it, how it gets more intense. Um, because as a tutorial, this was, you know, really stepping you through the paces. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to see something that would really challenge the intellect. Because you think, who, who has that? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd be game for it. Well, there is another scenario which we will do. So we'll play through that one at a later time. So you can see the first part of the campaign and see how that changes. But, yes, yeah, this is a tutorial, so it's made to, like, walk you through step by step. I have played the other scenario, and it it does ramp up, for sure. Oh, good, good, good. But yes. Um, my quick thoughts on this and my current state of mind of this game, I think this game is fantastic, honestly. I think they've done a really good job with it. Um, it is just clean to play. Like, I'm just scanning cards, and everything doesn't make sense, because we played uh, Chronicles, of, Chronicles, Chronicles of Crime. Chronicles of Crime, yes. And that's, I mean, that's, don't, don't get me wrong, that's fun to play and scan it, but after a while, I felt like... It was just so much scanning, and there's so many different options, and you can get lost or kind of get in a, in a rut every once in a while. Well, I don't think it was the scanning thing. I think, for me, the real difference is theme yes, or part of it. for sure. Um, this gets me more. Yep. Um, and then the added layer of, like, battling, and it's just, there's more to it, I think, because Chronicles of Crime is more of detective work. You're talking, you're searching right. rooms. Right. And then you're just piecing together the puzzle. This one you've got more going yeah, on with the combat. Yeah, I think there's more going on. Yeah, yeah. and the, the dialogue's great. Like, I think they've done a fantastic job with this one. Um, I'm really excited to see more of this game. So, But we'll, we'll have more thoughts after the scenario will play at a later time. But hopefully you enjoyed it. This one is coming out, I believe, July 13th as the Kickstarter. I don't have a link to the Kickstarter, but when I do, I'll update it in the YouTube description below. Uh, but honestly, if you've got any questions, feel free to join us on our Discord. I know the Del, uh, the Delve brothers also have their own Discord. I'm on that too. You can go chat with them there. But yes. They're brothers? Yes! I didn't put that together. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Sorry. That's cool. Notice. Hey, look. They're actually look, joining they us. And look they at the last do. names. They have All the, same the last, last, name. last names. All the last names. <laughs> so. Oh, intellect. I don't know. Are you ready for those challenging puzzles? Yes, I am. <laughs> Just don't tell me to pay attention to names. <laughs> but yes, this is yeah. a great game, guys. And we'll show you some other characters and other stuff. Should yeah. we should we do Seamus plug one more time for your giveaway? No, we'll do it later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye. Bye bye.